Hey guys, what's up? So it's been a little while. As you guys can see, I cut my hair shorter. I know. But um, today I'm just going to be doing my makeup with you guys and hanging out. I haven't done like a get ready with me in a while. So I'm just going to do my makeup. I have to be somewhere very soon. I'm taking Mika for her Easter pictures. But yeah, this is my new haircut. It's really short. Um, I don't know what got into me, but I just wanted to cut my hair short, so it's short now. I'm just going to tuck it behind my ear and just jump right in and start getting ready. So first thing I like to do is moisturize my skin. So I like to use this Clinique Moisture Surge Face Spray. This stuff is so good. I wash my face at night and I apply this and it just works so perfectly. It just kind of moisturizes my skin without me having to touch it. And like your hands have a lot of like bacteria, so can make you break out and stuff so this is perfect because I just spray it on and let it air dry so I usually put this on first when applying my makeup and just let it dry up as you can see my skin's a lot more dewy and glowy I've actually been uh, dairy free for a whole month so I'm basically eating vegan I'm not claiming that I am a vegan I'm a vegetarian but I have been eating vegan lately and I noticed a huge difference in my skin. I only have like a couple little blemishes here and there, but my skin has cleared up a lot. So if you're having like acne issues, try cutting out like meat and dairy, it might help. But the next step I like to do is add this Smashbox primer water. So I'm going to spray this right on top. I'm gonna add a little bit of this Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer on top of the primer that I already used. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this in my T-zone. So I ended up taking Mika for Halloween pictures, also for Christmas. So. Um, she's going to be turning one next month, so I kind of wanted to take her for her Easter pictures since this is going to be like her first Easter. For those of you that don't know, Minka is my puppy. She's a Yorkie, a teacup Yorkie, and she's going to be turning one years old. Um, yes, I'm one of those crazy uh, parents that loves to spoil her puppy. <laughs> I know a lot of you that are animal lovers also take pictures of your pets for the holidays and stuff, but yeah, I'm one of those like animal moms all right so i'm gonna go in with my foundation i always use the same one i saw that there's a couple new foundations that are out that i want to try out but this is the same one i always use it just works good for my skin and it's the Giorgio armani luminous silk you guys see me use this a bunch of times and i'm in the shade 6.5 so make sure you shake this up good before you use it i'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand and it to my skin. I'm gonna take a little bit of my Born This Way concealer and I'm just gonna dab it on any little areas that need a little bit more coverage. Like I said, I just have like a couple small um, like acne spots. I also like to put this like in these areas where I get like red or dark. I'm gonna put more of this on after, but. If you guys see me looking like to the left, I have a mirror here. This is not the greatest setup, but I just wanted to do like a chill get ready with you guys today. So, yeah. What I like to do is dab on my foundation after that. And then I'm gonna blend it out with my beauty blender. So now I'm gonna move on to my eyes and I'm using, like I said earlier, the Born This Way Concealer and I'm in the shade Medium. I love this concealer because it's very hydrating and it's just good for 
like an everyday look it doesn't look cakey or anything like that so i'm just gonna put a little on my eyelids and use this to prime my lids and use it as a base for my eyeshadow and blend it out with my beauty blender Okay, so now for the fun part, I ended up getting the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette and I'm going to be using this today. This palette's so pretty, the outside's like soft, uh, it's like um, velvety I guess, whatever you want to call it, but this is a really pretty palette and I have dipped into it already, but these are what the shades look like. And I'm going to try to do a very like soft look today. And I'm gonna go in with orange soda. It's this one right here. I'm gonna go in with that one first. Use it as a transition shade. So I ended up finding the other day in the gluten-free aisle these vegan eggs. Comment down below if you guys have tried them before. I've never tried them before. I think I'm gonna try them out tomorrow for breakfast. But it's been kind of hard being gluten-free and trying to like eat vegan. Um, it's been like difficult to find things when I go out to eat I have to alter everything and I mainly just eat at home. I obviously can't have fast food because there's like a ton of gluten in fast food and Yeah, it's kind of hard to eat out. I think if I was uh, Just eating vegan and I didn't have like a gluten allergy. I would be able to eat out a lot like maybe like have fast food and just like take out the cheese or meat or whatever but since i'm like gluten free too it's kind of hard which um yeah mcdonald's and fast food tastes good but it's not healthy for you so it's kind of good that i can't have it because i would tear up some fast food if i could so i'm adding a little bit of rustic in my crease as well just to warm it up a little bit more this one's really pretty too it's like a dark it's not really a dark brown, it's like a brownish, I don't know, like a reddish brown color. I just took my name on accident. Yeah, I'm just gonna add a little bit of this in the crease as well. I don't know if I want to add a matte eyeshadow to my lid or one of the shimmery shades that are really pretty. Um, we'll see. Yeah, guys, I know I've been MIA for a little bit. I've just been trying to take some time to myself, uh, focus on like my eating and my health. And I also started yoga again, which is good. It's very relaxing. If you've never done yoga before, um, you should try it out. It's very relaxing. I know some people think like it's funny or I would never try it, but like you should really try it out. It's very relaxing and I don't know, it kind of like gets you grounded and very like, mm, I just been taking time to focus on myself I just needed to take a little time off and like I wasn't really um, during vlogmas I wasn't really taking a lot of time out for my puppy like I would cuddle with her and stuff but I really want to take out enough time during the day every day to like untangle her and I don't know just spend more quality time with her because she is a puppy and she needs a lot of love and care and I thought of a lot of new video ideas for you guys so i'm gonna get back on track and yeah sorry guys i just had to take some time off but um yeah these are all the shimmer shades right here and there's this lighter one i'm probably gonna use on the brow but i think i'm gonna go in with the rose pink it's like a rose gold shade it's really pretty and i'm just gonna apply that to the lid oh that's dark i thought that was a little lighter but Pretty. These eyeshadows are very pigmented and I don't see a ton of fallout. There's like a little bit of fallout, but this um, palette is really nice. I feel like it's well made. I know there were some issues with one of their previous palettes, but this one's like perfect. Look how pretty that is. That's the rose pink color. So I'm just gonna apply this to my lids. So yeah guys, I've taken some time off for myself, but I feel like I have everything in order. I did some spring cleaning, even though it was like snowing here, I still got some spring cleaning done and I got rid of a ton of things. I feel like when your house is an 
order and decluttered you just feel so much better so if you're feeling crappy um throw out a bunch of stuff it makes you feel a lot better lately i have been using this clinique all about eyes it uh, reduces circles and puffs and i just use a little bit of this from clinique under my eyes it has like this uh like peachy tone to it so i'm just gonna apply a tiny bit underneath my concealer even though this concealer is very hydrating you don't have to do this but i've been liking to do this lately just because it's gonna be working underneath my makeup and I'll go in with the concealer. I like to add a lot of this. Um, when I use the shape tape, I love it, but I can't really put like a ton of shape tape on because I don't know. I feel like sometimes it looks just like too much with shape tape. I like to go a little bit lighter, but with this one, you can put a ton of it on and it still looks really natural. So I like to put a good amount on and blend it out. This is really good if you have dry under eyes or if you have any uh, fine lines underneath your eyes. It just looks very natural and it's very hydrating as well. So I like to do one layer and then I'm going to go back in and add a little bit more in the areas that I need to. But yeah, I like this stuff. Um, I haven't really tested it out throughout the day to see um, how long it stays on or if it lasts. So have to do that but um initially applying it it looks really pretty so i definitely have to see how it looks like throughout the day i never really uh notice what it looks like by the end of the day because i always take off my makeup at night and i don't really i haven't really paid attention to that but i am going to do that and let you guys know how this wears but just for every day to go out and get things done i really like this concealer I'm using the Laura Mercier setting powder. I have something coming in the mail this week and I don't want to spoil it but I'm just going to let you guys know what it is. I ended up purchasing the KKW uh, concealer kit. I want to do a review on it for you guys and try it out. So once that comes in we're going to test it out together but uh, for the most part I just use the Laura Mercier setting powder. So. It'll be kind of fun to try out a new setting powder. I haven't used one since I found this one like years ago. I'm gonna try one other setting powder out, but I didn't really like it. And um, I don't like to bake really heavily. I just add a little bit and kind of blend it out. But I heard with the new uh, KKW, you can add a ton of powder and it still looks really good in your under eyes. So I can't wait to try that out for you guys and see how it works. I'll give you guys my honest Opinion, whether I like it or not um, because there's just some setting powders that I feel like I don't like so I've just been sticking to this one but from what everyone says it's really good so I ended up caving and picking it up I don't pick up everything just because it's like um, you know Kim Kardashian makeup or Kylie Jenner makeup I just pick up things that I think I would probably like um, and the concealer kit I felt like I would probably like that because I haven't really found um, any other like concealers that I like lately aside from like the Too Faced for everyday makeup and then the Tarte Shape Tape so I kind of want to try it out and see if it's any good so yeah I'll probably do a review on it for you guys um, as soon as it comes in I'm gonna go in with the Hula Bronzer and this big fan brush and just warm up my skin a little bit. I haven't been doing cream contour lately. I do have the Rihanna Fenty contour sticks, but I don't know, for every day, I just kind of just use bronzer. And I just like using this fan brush because it's really big and kind of blends everything out nicely. So I don't know if any of you were wondering uh, if you watched 
my video on my mom's reaction with my hair, but she did forgive me when I had first cut my hair. And the day I cut my hair shorter like this, I called her and she was like, oh my gosh, but um, she said it looked really nice. She wasn't upset because I think I think the initial one from like cutting off 16 inches, she was upset because it was so long. But after I already cut it and she saw this shirt, this short, she actually liked it and she wasn't upset. She was like a little bit like shocked, but she wasn't upset. She says it looks cute. So yeah, my mom's forgiving me guys. She's not mad at me anymore. I'm also gonna take my brush and dip it in the hula bronzer and contour my nose a little bit. I've just been doing it very lightly lately. More towards like the tip of my nose. I've been having really bad allergies lately, so like the tip of my nose is like always swollen. Uh, I think it's from my puppy. Her hair is very like silky and soft and fine, so it kind of like it affects my allergies. I already did my eyebrows. They're not the best today. They're usually a lot lighter, but um, I couldn't find this brow whiz pencil. Um, so I had to use the brow definer and I don't really like this one too much. If you see here, I have a lot of little baby hairs uh, growing in, like not baby hairs, eyebrow hairs. Cause I'm trying to grow my brows out. So they're kind of like in that stage right now, but I tried the definer and I think it would work better once my eyebrows are grown out more. Um, so I like to use the brow whiz now, but yeah, it kind of like added too much. It's just like too thick for me. I'm just going to apply a little bit of mascara. Oh, and the mascara I'm using is the Better Than Sex mascara. This is my favorite mascara lately. This is all I use. And um, this looks really good. I also like Roller Lash and they're real by Benefit, but this one's from Too Faced, the Better Than Sex mascara. It's just really good it makes my lashes look really long i have long lashes but um, when i apply this mascara i don't really need falsies i can just go out with this so i like to use this for every day even when i do a more glam look i love this mascara so if you haven't tried this one out it's really good so i just do about two or three coats i don't want it to look Lumpy. So, just apply a little bit of this. I'm gonna go in with Dandelion. I love this blush. It's really pretty and light. And I just apply a tiny bit of this to the cheeks and put it more like up here, closer back. And a little bit on the bridge of my nose, just so it gives me a little bit of color. It looks really pretty. Just a little bit of blush. I'm gonna show you guys my favorite highlighter of Lately and it's this Artist Couture Highlight. And this is by Max Daddy, it's in Illuminati. I love this stuff. It just makes your skin look so wet and dewy and it's just so pretty. This is what it looks like. And I've been really obsessed with this, especially the highlight on the nose. It just looks so nice. So I'm just gonna take this blush brush to apply my highlight. I have to wash my brushes today anyway, so I'm just going to use this brush to apply it. And you just need a very small amount. And I'm going to show you guys how it looks. It's so pretty. I don't know if you guys can see that there. I only applied a little bit. You can go a little heavier if you want like a super blinding glow. But um, yeah, look at that. So nice. I apply with like a bigger brush to diffuse it a little bit. If you really want it to be super blinding, you can um, take a smaller, smaller brush and it will go on a lot brighter. So I just like to put this on my cheekbones and kind of go here and wrap it around. 
sometimes I don't, and then sometimes I add a little bit here to give extra glow. Cupid draw, look at that guys. I'm gonna go on with my finger so you guys can see how nice this is. Look at that. That's insane. It just looks like wet. No, that doesn't sound good, but yeah, it just makes your skin look very dewy and glowy, so I've been obsessed with this lately. This is like so pretty. I just purchased a new setting spray by Kat Von D because I like ran out, but I think I left it downstairs, so I'm gonna just spray my face before I leave, but I'm going to put a little bit Lip liner, this is the Lip Cheat and Iconic Nude by Charlotte Tilbury. I love her lip liners, they're so pretty. And I'm just gonna lightly outline my lips. I love these lip liners, they're so pretty. And the lip shade that I'm going to use is also downstairs. I left it in my purse, but I'm going to apply the Buxom Lip Gloss in White Russian. Um, but I don't have it right now, so I'm just going to go like this. So this is my look for today. It's Sunday, so I didn't want to do anything too crazy. Oh my gosh, look how pretty that highlight is. But yeah, I'm going to go put lip gloss on and some setting spray. I'm going to grab Mika, get her ready to go. And we're going to head out and get her pictures taken. Maybe at the end of this video, I'll put a little clip so you guys can see her taking her Easter pictures. But thank you guys for hanging out with me today, chit-chatting and getting ready with me. But I'm going to let you guys go. I don't want to get there too late. Make sure to turn on your notifications so you guys don't miss out on any future videos. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys soon.